Have, hello everyone. Okay, before I start with anything else, I want to start with showing you this photo. This is a photo of myself back in the day. It's not that long time ago, but it was just not a long time ago. That was uh, the year 20. 12 the time i decided to lose weight so i was extremely overweight very very overweight that is me wearing my tie chunky fat guy whatever you call but that is me and i lost the weight how did i do it and the, each person has different reason to lose weight and that one after losing that weight i had my own reasons then i was at the perfect shape of my life and then at one point again, I didn't follow the principles I was following, I gained weight. After gaining weight, I had to lose weight again. So this is again, when I had to get, I gained another weight. So this was 2014, 2015. So 2016, I said, okay, I'm out of this. I have to gain, I have to lose weight. Then I had to follow the procedures on how to do everything. And then I had to lose weight. Okay. So what are the principles? I'm talking this one because I did myself. When I gained weight and then I had to lose weight, I know people want to know, like, how can I lose my belly fat? How can I lose whatever, something in my body, whatever? So I'm going to explain the natural ways, the procedure, simple ways on how to do step by step in order to lose weight. I'm talking the ways I used myself, the ways I researched, which I believe they are safe ways. And there are no any other safe ways than eating right. So number one, eating right will be the number one way, and then we are supplementing it with exercise. So I will talk to you how to cook your food well, how to do everything well, and I'll be able to show what I've been doing. And in case you didn't know, I'm officially certified chef. So I went to school, I'm a certified chef, and this is some of my food when I cook at home, when you have visitors, whatever. And this became like part of my personal life, just to eat right, how to eat well, making proper good looking salad, and all other things. I'll be able to share with you how I do it and how you can be able to do it. So those are some of the ways or some of the things I usually do on my daily life things of that nature and okay so each person has different reason why they want to lose weight uh for my case is a little bit different uh back in 2008 before growing up i've never been overweight because i've been very very active not just by exercising the life itself where i grew up in africa you don't need to exercise you had to be very active at the university you just have one lecture here you have to go to another lecture room here very far apart from one another those who are who went to university of Salaam, they know from one lecture room to another lecture room is a distance going to the baby ninth floor you don't have elevator or lift doesn't work properly so you end up going walking coming down whatever so I was very active and when I was growing up even up to now in many places a little bit nowadays is a little bit different in Africa but it used to be if you are overweight or you become fat sorry for the use of language in African context fat means good it's different from Western sense where you say oh you gain weight you little bit look chunky look overweight look fat whatever that is a bad word and is not a positive compliment but where I grew up if so oh, man I see it was just some, everything you are doing well, like you have big belly, whatever. That means you are doing well, you are eating well, you have good money, you have good life. So, one of the symbol or sign of someone to be successful, healthy-wise, or having whatever, it was to get weight. So, when I came to America and they started gaining weight, for me, I didn't even think like in a negative way. Like, okay, for me, it's just, that's cool and I'm in America. So, so I gained weight. But the reason I was about to lose weight was not because there was a health reason on my end. It's because I made a decision, a decision to join the United States military. And when I went there, one of the requirements I had to lose at least 50 pounds. 50 pounds is average 23 kilograms. So I have to lose that weight in order to qualify to join the military. So remember, so I had to lose the weight. 
so for me losing weight was not because of the health reason it was because i wanted a job and the requirement to get that job was to lose weight that was the reason but now if i want to lose weight is because of the health reason not because of the job requirement so i did my research so on my research is how i will be able to lose weight i managed to lose up to 60 pounds no it was 65 pounds which is about 30 kilograms in 75 days that was insane i don't want to do that but for me i went full force making sure that i was able to do that but i don't want to do that because you need to have time the highest dedication you need to have but I will start with, this will be a series, a series on how you can lose your weight. But number one I said is about eating right. So, in order to lose weight, you have to know what causes you to gain weight. If you know that one, you eliminate that and then everything will be easy. So, there are three parts or three things you have to avoid in your eating habit. And if you change that one, then your exercise will complement that being active will complement that but if you exercise every single day but you are eating bad you are toasted nothing will happen it doesn't matter how active you are it doesn't matter how many kilometers how many miles you run every single day but if you don't eat right it doesn't help you so I did all the exercises and everything, and this is how I became at the peak of my exercising. That is when I was in the military. After losing all the all the weight, that is how I became. So I was just like 100% physically fit. I was addicted to exercising and eating well. So this is how I did. Number one, oil. Whether it's cooking oil, just reducing the fat. Oil. Number two, sugar. Number three, starch. I will explain one after another. These are the worst things in your body. How they are the worst. And how can you substitute those items with other things? So as I said, number one is oil. So don't bring to me, oh, I'm using this olive oil. I'm using this sunflower oil. Oil is oil. Your body is treating oil as oil. It doesn't matter whether it's butter. It doesn't matter whether it's margarine. It doesn't matter whether... Don't bring me this is healthy oil. This is not healthy oil. Your body doesn't select this is healthy. If you want to lose weight, you don't want to gain weight. Number one thing, first of all, is oil. So, how I do it, I cook my food without oil. And cooking, people, they're doing a mistake. They take, like, for instance, like, you do eating uh, deep fried food. Stop. They are using, uh, you take the fish, you just uh, deep fry fish, and then you roast the fish with more oil. They do a lot of cooking with oil. You take egg, and then you, uh, you make, like, omelette. You put how many spoons of oil? One spoon of oil is a hundred percent fat, a hundred calories, up to 120 calories, pure fat. So instead of eating uh, fried eggs, just use maybe without oil, scrambled eggs. That's why they, you sell the pants, you don't need to use oil. Or just use hard boiled eggs. And again, so, if you eat meat like chicken, there are different ways of cooking chicken without using oil. You can make oil, I mean chicken in the oven. You can do barbecue chicken. You don't need oil. You can do just boiling it like a soup, mix with your veggies. I've done all those ways. Fish, you just, you can just use steam. You can just put into the uh, oven again. You can just do barbecue your fish you can there are so many ways you can do fish there are so many ways you can do chicken there are, you don't need the oil fish has a natural oil that's why there are certain pills which with the fish oil healthy for you so that's those are the things so eliminate oil use if his fish is having natural oil if it is just chicken it has natural oil so that's number one 
because once you put unnecessarily too much oil will go into your body direct transform to fat without any questioning that's number one number two is about sugar and by sugar that is when you put your food how many soda do you drink per day how many artificial juice do you do per day how many cakes do you eat cookies whatever everything with sugar and why sugar is bad for you it's very simple sugar is bad for you because when you eat things with sugar sugar gives you energy glucose glycogen you call it whatever you call it that's why when we go to run you run at the end of the line you, they give you glucose to get you give you more energy so once you eat too much sugar that's why we don't allow kids to eat sugar or cookies or eating a lot of uh, candies during the evening because they'll get so much energy they will not go to sleep they, you get energy but what do you do with that energy if you are eating sugar you are drinking soda you are drinking uh, artificial these kind of juices eating cake birthday party what are you doing after that are you going to run are you going to carry heavy weight or you are going to sit and using your whatsapp watching a movie on the coach and eating a big bowl of ice cream. If you do that, that means the energy is going into, a, I mean, sugar is going, is supposed to, that energy to be used. So if you don't use that energy by itself, the energy is going to be stored somewhere in case of images. And how it's going to be stored? It's going to be stored in form of fat. So sugar turns to be fat. So that's how you get belly fat. That's how you get fat into your body. So what to do? If you want to have juice, have a blender. Make your own natural juice at your home. If you want to drink sugar, uh, tea, don't put sugar. And if you have to use that, at least use then honey. For my African friends, breakfast doesn't mean you must have tea. You can have breakfast, hard boiled egg, and juice. You don't need to start with the deep fried chapati deep fried maybe something like whatever you want to have in the in the morning with the soda no so that's how you can go and i'll come to the next point which i'll combine how do you breakfast lunch and dinner so that is the basic part avoid and reduce amount of sugar in your body because sugar in your body is transforming directly to fat because it's going to be energy stored. That's why you can find some, you are being run by a dog or something, you can just jump the big hole. So where did that energy come from? Where did it come from that energy? It's because the energy comes from excessive energy saved in terms of fat will come there. So, and that's it. Avoid and reduce sugar. If you want to have juice, make your own juice. Drink a lot of water. Avoid unnecessarily these kind of energy drink and whatever. It is, just look the amount of sugar is there. Cookies, whatever. Things of that nature. Then we come to starch. Carbohydrates. That is the killer. That is something which makes many people gain weight without. And especially for... I can talk about specifically for the case of Africa. Case of non-western culture non-western culture many cultures in non-western world the main food is starch we eat let's say things which are for instance rice corn or maize we eat things of all those kind of starch like you wake up in the morning you eat chapati tortilla with something deep fried something eggs whatever then lunch you just have rice or in the evening rice and something you eat french fries or chips you call it so we just the catch of starch is the main food and then protein is just a substance it's a, sub, it's a little bit a small portion that is the problem because why starch is a problem because again i was talking about sugar starch the main job of that kind of food is to give you energy if we starch the main job is to give you energy then 
What are you going to do after eating ugali? What are you going to do after eating tortillas? What are you going to do after eating all those chapati? What are you going to do after eating the fufu? What are you going to do after eating the rice? Are you going to sit down and watch Isidingo the Need or watching soccer? Are you sitting down and play with your phone watching the TV show on your ne favorite Netflix show or watching, I mean, YouTube? Or you are going to play soccer? You are going to run? You are go what are you going to do with that energy? That's why Michael Phillips, before going to compete on swimming on the Olympic, is eating a lot of pasta to get energy. That's why. Bolt, Usain Bolt, before going to do the whatever, they have to have to eat a lot of starch, getting energy. Are you carrying the heavy weight? Are you going to run? Are you going to what are you doing with the energy after eating starch? If you're going to sleep, that energy you were supposed to do, you are going to sleep, you are going to end up gaining weight because the starch getting into storage turns to become fat. That's how you gain weight. So you have to know how do you gain weight. Fat or oil itself, sugar and the starch. I don't say you can you can eat the starch a little bit. After all, veggies they have carbohydrates. I mean, have starch already. But don't start eating too much. That's why, for instance, you go to the restaurant. They don't say like if you go to, for those who speak Swahili, say wali nyama or rice, beef. We say beef is the main food you order, and then rice or french fries is coming just as a small portion. So, number one it has to be protein, and then starch will be a small portion. So that's how you do it. So if you take out those one, it will be easy. So number one is eating right. And I will come to talk more about the schedule, about eating and all other things. But number one, I want to let you know how do you, what do you eat and how can you avoid that? Avoiding and reducing amount of what you eat. Because some people will eat like as if today is the last day of our life. You just eat a boom, big portion. No. I will talk about the portion size. I will talk about the schedule of eating. But I want to know first of all, why do you gain weight? And if you are gaining weight, then you have to cook food like this way. If you can see on the picture here, everything here, there is no cooking oil. Everything on that picture is just like beef, whatever, it's just like veggies, whatever. This is how I cook, just like pure ash kebab, whatever. These are the things you have to cook. Like, there is no about too much starch, it's just more about protein, about veggies, about whatever. So if you eat like rice, it's supposed to be small portion. Those are the things I want to share with you. I'm going to have a series of videos. This was just to introduce you to the life of weight loss. And for me, what did I do? So this was the basic, like avoiding this certain kind of food. But I'm going to tell you what to eat at what time. And then I'll come to supplement what kind of exercise. Not like exercise, you must go to jump, run. No, just a little bit of work. How to position, to take a small portion, how many times per day, those things. Because I used to be extremely overweight and I did it. Not once, not twice, three times. I lost the weight. I was in the military. So because I was at peak, when I get out, something went on. Then I gained weight again. I lost. Now I'm consistent eating well. I've, no, I've never drank soda for three years now. I don't drink soda. So there are th certain things I've limited in my life. Just as habit. So diet is not torture. There is a way on how you can live a lifestyle. So stay with me on the next part two about how to eat right, how to lose belly weight, how to consistently be at the peak as a lifestyle of eating well and cons consistently be healthy, avoiding unnecessary diseases. So, this is again is Ernest Bonfast Makula EPM and subscribe to my channel here and watch the suggested videos here. You'll be able to gain something, to learn something from me. Okay. Goodbye everyone and thank you for your continued support of my channel. Sharing videos is the key and subscribing here is something you need to do. Okay. Goodbye.